Hey guys, uh, I just realized that in my 38 minute autistic ramble about mechanical keyboard switches that I forgot to give you a, a sound test. <laughs> uh, and I hate when people give a, do a keyboard review or a keyboard video. If you're putting a, a keyboard on a video on YouTube and you're not doing a, a, t a typing test, like what the, f what are you even doing? Um, so that, and that's what I just did. So, uh, so I'll just like put this, pin this on a comment or something, but, uh, this is the sound test with, um, NK65, NK, uh, and entry edition. Uh, this is from like the second or third run. This was like, I want to say this was the first time that these were available for sale and didn't sell out in like 30 seconds. Um, I, st I did have to wake up early to, 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 you know, buy these before they sold out. They sold out within like 20 to 30 minutes instead of seconds but um yeah i got this uh i don't know a year or two ago maybe three if it's been out for three years so. <laughs> it's been it's been a while and i kind of lose track of when i actually started doing mk stuff but um yeah this is mk65 entry edition uh leopold oem profile keycaps side notes um i mentioned in the in the main video that i don't really recommend the oem leopolds um, I do have some ash yellow regular ones, and those are great. Um, but uh, the regular, these the OEMs, they're not really, they have a different texture to them. They're much smoother, and as, as you can see, they've already, they've kind of like started to shine. I have used the crap out of these, though. These were my main keycaps for a long time. Um, and you can see there is some shine on them, and it's like not an even shine. I think the, the shine that you get on GMK is like much more even and kind of can look good from a certain point of view. Uh, I'm, I will test that one day when my tear drive gets here. Um, but uh, there is like a certain level of shine, and uh, but that, that's not the real problem. The real problem is that the stable, the, 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 the post on the, on the, the key, on the, the, the space bar. And the bigger keys, like the, the posts on these keys do not fit normal stabs. Or like, like they don't fit the stabs that came with this keyboard. I had to uh, do some weird shit to get this, like it would just be loose. So like, it would only be held on in the middle by the actual switch, but it would wobble. And like, it was, it was very, if you tried to hit it here, it would just like hit sideways and not actually actuate the switch. Um, because there was, it was not actually making contact with the, the, the stab. Uh, stem on, on either side so what I ended up doing was just like putting some tape on it some like masking tape a little tiny little piece of masking tape and just like jamming it on uh, over the stem so that it would like fill it in and actually like allow it to make contact the only problem when you do that is though is that unless you're very precise and it's hard to be precise with you know a, <laughs> a little tiny li like literally like a like like smaller than that size uh, um, of, of a piece of mask, it's, it's hard, very hard to be precise with that. And if, if it's too big, if it's too small, it won't work. And if it's too big, it's gonna like be sticking out, and you're, you're gonna have like a, you know, like you're gonna you're gonna feel the friction of the, of, of the actual I'm trying to like simulate it, but of you're gonna feel the tape sliding against the, the rail, and it's not gonna it's gonna feel kind of scratchy, and you might even hear it. Um, and if you take the space bar off, you risk messing the tape job up and having to fix it again. So, uh, I eventually bought Duroc clip-in stabs, Duroc plate mount stabs, and I used one on this key and this key, and it works, and it's fine. Th those, those actually are able to, like, make contact, and the stems actually fit in the, uh, the, the, the posts here. So, uh, I thought that was like a, 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 a problem specific to to Leopold, possibly to Leopold OEM and NK65 stock stabilizers, at least from the era that I got these. But uh, the, uh, the the other Leopold caps I have, which I guess let me let me just get that out. Oh, it's right here. Um, the other Leopold keyboard I have, uh, which I'm not doing a whole lot of these caps now. Actually, I'm not, I got to some, but uh, <clears throat> that is um, this space bar does not have problems with the original stabs here. So I got Durox, I got Durox uh, plate mount stabs that I use on here, and those are fine. Same with this one. Uh, but then I got this keyboard, the Q1, and I had the same problem. <laughs> this space bar does not fit on the stock stabs on the Q1 either. 
So, um, and this space bar didn't either. <laughs> This one that I'm currently with the with the drop, so that's like made by a completely different company. Um, so like I don't know I don't I don't know what like people normally do, but I I just buy a new stab, I guess. So I, I bought Duroc Duroc plate mount for this one and Duroc Duroc piece screw in not Duroc Duroc plate mount for this one, Duroc PCB mount screw in for this one, <clears throat> and they both work. Um, I mean, obviously the Leopold works on the, this is the actual Leopold keyboard as well. So obviously that works. Uh, these are Browns, but, um, uh, I'll do a video on this one someday too. Um, not today. Uh, so I'll do a sound test. That's what I was trying to see. <laughs> uh, oh, this is already plugged in. Okay. So, um, uh, NK65 clickies tape mod. Uh, Leopold OEM profile purple keycaps. I'm doing monkey tap. bad so 130 uh 135 i try if i try to do 130 or higher on pretty much all my topping tests now like that's that's what i consider a, a good score for me um i can i can do 145 uh on a good day with with the right keyboard i'm not sure like i don't think i've gotten any 140s with the clickies because they're just a little hard for me to type on fast still but um yeah 130 is pretty good uh i'll take that um Let's do the Q1. Q1. Um, uh, don't, don't worry about what that is. Uh, if you know what it is, great. Um, this is Q1, also tape modded. Both both of these keyboards are tape modded uh, with vintage black top Duroc linears with 67 gram Duroc aftermarket springs crotox 205 grade zero on the housing and super lube thin the one the super lube thin <laughs> juice stuff on the the spring and uh some random films that i got got off amazon um plus duroc screw and stab for this one lubed very poorly uh with uh drop 2048 mt3 profile keycaps that is all <laughs> that's all the spec of this keyboard okay and people wonder why i don't want to talk about this in public um <clears throat> at the end but you get the idea you understand the sound um this is much quieter <laughs> uh i put uh glorious panels on the numbers because a i don't have enough linears and b um sometimes if i put smooth linears on here i if i accidentally i tend to accidentally like press the keys sometimes uh if there, there are if the linears up here are too smooth f keys aren't really touched but uh ever but uh that's why i put the pans in here um yeah, so that's the sound test for these. Uh, thanks for...